I'm Amber and this is my next hobby. Today we are going to be recreating the vegan fake chicken that has gotten super popular on TikTok in the last week or so, I think. I honestly don't remember when I saw it. So we're gonna give that a shot. I'm like super obsessed with TikTok. Jake can definitely verify that fact. I send him way too many TikToks throughout the day. But I came across this recipe, was super excited. I don't eat meat. I haven't eaten it in like 10 years or something. So I'm very familiar with eating and tasting seitan and other fake meat products, but I had never seen it done this particular way where you're basically making your own wheat gluten where you're washing all the starch out of the flour. So I was super excited to give it a shot. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the recipe didn't have specific measurements, at least the initial video. So I'm gonna be working off of 500 grams of flour. Um, I have no idea if that's the same as what's in the video or not, but we're gonna give it and see. So so I buy my flour in bulk because I've been super into making sourdough since, you know, the pandemic started like everyone else. So I don't know exactly how much protein content there is in this flour. So it might be less or more than what the initial video or what other people are using. So I don't know exactly what my results are going to be compared to what else is out there online. But we're going to give it a shot. So first I have to make my flour water mixture. Um, there was another video uploaded after the original seitan chicken recipe that the person who made it said they used two parts flour to one part water. So that's what I'm gonna go off of. I'm using 500 grams of flour, so 250 grams of water. I'm using weight just because I prefer doing that when I'm doing bread type stuff. It's basically what seitan is, just really dense bread. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that measured. Um, the video showed it being kneaded by hand. I'm gonna use a stand mixer because I'm lazy and I wanna make sure this gets thoroughly kneaded and mixed up so I get like a really nice, dense, like a really good texture for the seitan. So let's go ahead and get my ingredients measured out and then I will move over to the stand mixer on the other side of the kitchen. Cool. This is all measured and ready to go in the mixer. So I let this run for about five minutes. As you can see, I've got like a nice smooth dough ball. It should be pretty well kneaded since I used the stand mixer. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and let this rest for an hour before we rinse out the starch. Okay, so my dough has been sitting here for an hour. I had it covered so it wouldn't get like dry out and get all crusty and gross and stuff. It's pretty dense. Let's see if I can get this out because it's sticking. Um, it's like a pretty dense dough. It's nice and solid. So now we need to rinse all the starch out. So all we have left is the gluten here. So I've got some water I'm gonna add and we're just gonna like knead, knead, knead until some point where I will decide to drain off the water and then we'll have this little protein loaded loaf. Um, I don't really know how much water you're supposed to add in here to knead it. I'm just doing this much. Um, I guess we'll see. Oh yeah, you can see this is getting whitish like really fast. I didn't really say how long to do this for, so I don't know. We're just gonna keep squeezing and kneading and go from there, I guess. So 
gonna use this to like drain off the water before adding some fresh into this bowl. liquid coming off this is still like super white so I'm probably gonna need more fresh water. I think I'm gonna do like one more rinse of this, hopefully. Okay, so I've got my gluten dough mess here. I'm gonna go ahead and season this. The original recipe only had like paprika, garlic, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna do all those, but I'm adding poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning, there we go. Um, so yeah, this should hopefully give it more of a chickeny flavor in addition to all the other spices and the veggie broth at the end. So um, I'm going to add my spices and then this gets to rest for another uh, hour. That was it? I think that was it. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess this did kind of congeal back up after it sat for a second. It's still, I don't know, it's still a little loosey-goosey, but I'm still skeptical on the end result. We'll see. Um, here's what it looks like now. I have no idea if this is right or not, but we'll find out in an hour, I guess. Okay, so this has been chilling for, not actually chilling, just like hanging out, not like in the fridge. Um, but this has been hanging out for like an hour. It's still like really stringy, um, and not really solid, but next I have to like take this and twist and knot it up into like one solid piece so I'm going to get my oil heating in the pan here so it's ready to go I can kind of get this into the best formation I can get it and just plop it right in the pan so it's good to go oh, this is so gloopy I don't think this is right I don't think this is right at all Ow. I don't know what this is going to do when I cook it, but I think we're just going to go with it. Um. <laughs> oh god, this, is, oh, this might be real rough. Um, we'll see, I suppose. I mean, at least it's very, like, shreddy, so it should hopefully still have an okay texture. We'll find out. Um, oh it's so, like... PC. I don't know what the deal is. It just we're gonna check this in, okay? We're gonna check this friggin' dough ball in here, okay? I don't know about this. I do not know about this. So first I have to, I'm like kind of on camera, um, 
like awkwardly squat. So I have to fry up both sides and then simmer it. So it definitely kind of looks like a big piece of chicken. So this simmers in vegetable broth. I'm using this better than bouillon vegetarian no chicken base. This stuff is really good if you don't eat meat but want to make some sort of like chicken noodle soup or really add any sort of chickeny flavor to different stuff. Okay, so I added the veggie broth, fake chicken broth. Um, now this gets to simmer for 45 minutes. So uh, this is getting very large. I probably should have divided this into two pieces, but I'm gonna try and flip this. Um, that way the other side can absorb more of this liquid too and not just the bottom and it can cook a little more evenly. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm making a mess. Um, me? Uh -oh. mm. I need like tongs. <laughs> So this has been simmering for 45 minutes. Um, most of the broth kind of cooked off, which is good, I assume. Uh, we're gonna see if we can shred this now. Okay, let's see what this does. Kind of shredding? You know, it's more like clumps than shreds. It's got a decent texture though, at least visually. I don't know what it's gonna be like when I go to eat it, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's like kind of shreddy. Let's give it a taste! Yep. Hmm. It's a little bready still. Like, I've made seitan with uh, wheat gluten. And that definitely is meatier than this is. Ooh. The outside is really good. Where the like broth and stuff cooked with it. You wanna try some? Yep. Yeah. It's not a bad texture. It's not like I didn't get the shreds like they show in the TikTok. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it could be cooked longer, or... It wasn't the cooking, it was the process. I mean, you saw uh, it was a mess when I put it in the pan. And I don't know what was the cause of it being a mess. There are multiple factors that could have been. It is interesting that the, it didn't soak, the stuff didn't soak all the way through. Yeah, and I don't know if it's just too big of a piece, because it didn't give measurements. It's not bad, though. Yeah. It's a pretty decent texture, I, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that this recipe would replace like any of my go-to like fake meat ones, but it's an interesting alternative for if you don't have wheat gluten at home and want to give it a shot, like just using flour. But yeah, I can't complain. It's, it's pretty all right. Uh, I think we're going to try and make some sandwiches with this with... See, like that, I guess... Oh. Mm. I guess some of these like did kind of wind up a little bit like shreddy. Ah. Go, focus. Up. Wasn't optimal texture. 
I think something went wrong in my process and I don't know exactly what that was because there were a lot of places it could have went wrong just because I didn't have an exact recipe I was working off of. I was working off, you know, less than a minute long TikTok, but it was fun. I would definitely suggest giving it a try if you're looking for a fun cooking project for the afternoon. If you've made this before and had better success than I, definitely let me know in the comments if you've got any secrets so I can maybe get this another shot. But, um, that's all I've got for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. That helps us out a lot. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye!